Might be a poop mark on her head. <laughs> you think you could eat more than three pounds of food a day? I'm taking the more passive approach. But... Remotely close. So it's been a couple months since the last video from in here. Uh, thankfully now we have a lot more light. These are the same fish that we were taking care of in December and November. The only thing keeping these in the incubator at the moment is this screen. So as soon as I pull that screen out, the fish will kind of leave. There they go. You're free! You're free! You're free! Everybody's free! Once you pull this screen out, the fish come through here, all the way down this pipe. And I launch down here, and there's these little counter doodads here. It's that little port. And then every single fish that goes through there gets counted. Then they come out of the building. They go underground into these pipes. And then come right out of there. Since that line is so long out there, we can get that to stretch all the way to here. And if we drop a net into one of those pens, we can just fill it in place. So all those fish have finally grown up to the point that they're ready to go out here in the salt water. And they'll spend about two months or so out there. You could say that while we're feeding them out there, that's like going to school. When we cut them loose, that's like them graduating college. Today, fish are going to preschool. <laughs> Forget about it. So what are we doing today? We are going to do some saltwater feeding. We're feeding fish! Woo! And it's snowing. Let's go feed the fish breakfast. Alright, let's go. Whoa, we're right. Ooh, six in my hat. Watch me get out of this boat super graceful. Ah! <laughs> Bye. So how often a day do these fish get fed? Seven times. They get what? They get breakfast? Second breakfast, they get morning snack, early lunch, lunch, late lunch, and early supper, lunch, and lunch. They're like hobbits. Mm -hmm. There's two and a half million hobbits in there. Second breakfast, or is this early lunch? Break time. Woo. Let's go look at that uh, dead deer really quick. Okay. You're driving. I can't drive in, Phil. Poor guy. Quite a few didn't make the winter this year. It was the first actual cold one in a while. So a lot of them just, like all the weak ones, they, they didn't make it. They just dropped out. At least something's eating them. Yeah. As evidenced by that one Ishka found that was all bones. That was just bones. She's just trying to... Oh. <laughs> I don't know, it's either not or, or a seal. I think it's a seal. Yeah. It's a little seal. <laughs> hey buddy! Yeah, all you see is his little head. They're like Alaskan alligators. Yeah. Tell me about Peggy. Peggy is a one-legged crow. We're gonna see if we can find her. We also discovered there is one crow with a hurt leg of some sort. Then he holds it up high. But there you can might still be. see the foot. Well, rumor is that Peggy actually has two legs, but only uses one of them. We're still investigating. Oh, it was Peggy. That Come was back. Peggy. So strong! Oh. How much food do we give them based on their like size? Usually they eat two to three percent of their own body weight per day. So that's like if you ate a hundred pounds, we would feed you two to three pounds a day. That's it? You think you could eat more than three pounds of food a day? No. <laughs> I think I found Peggy. You did? Peggy! Oh, where's she going? I think it got pooped on. It might, might be a poop mark on her head. We just gotta see if we see another bird with one leg without the poop on its head. 
I just like you doing the hand motions of whatever you're doing. What? What is it? It's an otter. An otter? Hey, Peggy. I don't know if there's two. It might just be Peggy. I think there's only one girl with one leg. I think there's only one. You ready to go eat our lunch? Our only lunch? We're not greedy like these hobbit fish, second, third lunches, and whatever. Done. Holy snowflakes. Yeah. Welcome back from lunch. These are huge. These are massive. Holy cow. Look at that. Catch one on your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Face shot. <laughs> I got part of one. They're all over the place. I'm taking the more passive approach. But just it open mouth and look. Let's feed some fishes, they're hungry. They don't like to eat snowflakes. What? I'm gonna lose you in the blizzard. Ah. <laughs> Snow is everywhere. Where'd you go? You camouflaged. Oh. <laughs> Why are you scaring the fishes? I hate them all. <laughs> she really does seem to kind of just like hanging out with people, sort of. Hey, Peggy! So every day in the afternoon we have to bring all the fish food out to the pen so that the fish have food to eat in the morning. So we've enlisted Dan to help us throw feed. Playing it safe. <laughs> the crows are attacking the food already. I thought you stole my gloves. I have your gloves somehow. <laughs> do you want to trade? <laughs> Wouldn't do this for anybody else. Thank you. <laughs> Mouth cam. Uh, that didn't work. I was just thinking about it. Do you think any of those crows are Jim? Might be. Go team, go. Dan, how would you describe what you're doing dumping? We already tried to describe it twice. Feeding fish? <laughs> there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Feeding fish. Let's go home. Come on, Dan. Sing again. Oh, you're on my foot. Poor foot. Hold home. On. What am I holding on for? I had a burp. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say your takeaway? From the day is. My takeaway is that uh, we confirmed that there's only one one-footed bird. Well she heard it. She like kind of occasionally like will t tap so she doesn't tip over. Damn. That's what Peggy looks like. 